Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products, and on today's video, we're going to get this excavator behind me down to our uh, property and get it set up so we can start doing some real work down there. Well, we made it down here. Now we got to get it off. He tried backing in, but couldn't quite make the corner with this big low boy he's got. So we're going to just dump her off the side. No power lines on this side. Okay, we did it, we're here. All right, well, disaster has struck here. I, uh, I got it unloaded off the truck and my goal was just to bring it out to the landing. And I thought, well, I got it here and I'm running, so why don't I just take it over to the very farthest corner, as far away as I can get from the landing and any available access for trucks. And uh, then it broke. So I'm out here, you can see behind me in the middle of nowhere. There's no roads, there's no nothing. I got the skitter back here, which is right here. Um, but what happened was this final drive right here started pouring out hydraulic fluid, just, just gushing. And what I did was I tried to use the bucket to push off that side and walk my way back as far as I could, but it kept gushing and gushing independent of me using that uh, final drive or not. So my concern is, is that either the final drive has blown up or hopefully the, the better option would be that the return line for the hydraulic fluid has ruptured and it just drained the tank on me. So the first thing I gotta do is I gotta take this plate off of this final drive here and see what what it looks like. So that's that's gonna be our first our first thing this morning. So get that done. When this broke, I was so mad I couldn't I couldn't film. Wouldn't have been appropriate for YouTube. So it's been a week and uh, I'm finally getting to this project. So hopefully if it's just a hose, we'll replace the hose and get going again. If it's the final drive, I'll have to figure out what the next step is. Moment of truth here. I'll get this last bolt out of here. Come on. 
Boom. Looks like my hose popped off. Thank goodness. And it wasn't the final drive that exploded. So that's, that's just my return line, I believe. And it just popped off of the fitting. The final drive's still intact. So that's going to be a pretty easy fix. Thank goodness. Man, that, I, I have been sweating this for two weeks. Laying in bed at night awake thinking about how much money I'm going to have to put into this machine. But it was just a hose that broke. So that is great news. Great news. So we'll, uh, we'll get working on this and, and see what we can do here. All right, so our compression fitting has failed here. This little compression ring and this thing slide in there. And as you tighten this nut down, it compresses the compression ring, compresses on this fitting here. And uh, so we're going to go to the store, see about getting a new one of these or rehabbing this one. We need to get about, I don't know, 30 gallons of hydraulic fluid, um, fill the machine back up, and then we'll put it all back together and I'll walk it out of here, back to the landing. All right, so we're gonna, so some people say you can reuse these compression fittings and, and other people don't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reuse it, at least to get it out back to the landing where we can get to it with a truck. Uh, but I'm gonna screw this back onto the final drive. We're gonna plug our hose in there. And then we just went to the store, got uh, some hydraulic fluid. We're gonna put about 10 or 15 gallons in there, which is, is not enough, but, if it breaks again, I only want to leak out, you know, $200 worth of hydraulic fluid instead of $800 worth of hydraulic fluid. So we're going to put in hopefully just enough to get us back to the landing, and then we can kind of start troubleshooting why this thing popped off. Um, but right now we just got to get back into the get back into the landing. But one of the things I did do is I I blew in this, um, and I could hear it bubbling in the tank. So I don't think there's any blockage here from here forward so it's a, it's a little bit of a mystery why this thing popped off um but like i said once we get it back together i can lift the track up in the air run it a little bit see if there's if there's resistance in the in the final drive or, or just kind of what's going on here but that's our next step is to put this back on and fill it back up with just enough hydraulic fluid to get going and then we'll see if we can get back out to the landing well a little bit of change of plans here uh, I, the, I think we found the problem. This hose is a little bit too short. And so I think what happened was I, I got up on a stump or something, or I flexed this and, and it just pulled the hose out. Uh, so we're going to try and get a little bit longer hose because we can't quite get this fitting back up there. So what we're going to do is we've plugged this hose, the, the case drain line here. And, uh, to keep a bunch of junk out of here, we used <laughs> We used a surgical mask, and I don't want to get too political here, but uh, that'll do a nice job of filtering stuff so it doesn't get into our final drive. Let's just leave it at that there. So, um, But right now, we're going to start this thing up, get some fluid in it, and see if I can walk it out without blowing this mask off. Because if I hit the drive lever in the cab, it'll, it'll push hydraulic fluid down these lines through the final and then blow it right out here. Uh, so I got to make sure the first, the first time I hit the right lever, go in the right direction.
<laughs> well, I'm about ready to light this thing on fire. Just leave it here forever. On my on my walk back, I threw my track. See the the track isn't on the sprocket anymore. And I was a little worried about that. So I was trying to be gentle with it. But I must have got a little carried away and went too far. So now I have neither track working. And uh, it's not to the muddiest spot yet, but it's pretty close. So now I gotta try and get this track on so I can continue limping my way back to the landing. This may be a little better view. It's it's all the way off the sprocket, all the way around. So it's not like I can just walk it the other way and roll it back up. I gotta get this thing back on. It's a two for one video. Final drive repair and getting the track put back on. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, first attempt. I got a couple of chokers under there. I got one that's going to hook into the track on the inside. I'm going to push my bucket out there a little bit farther. Set down, pull the track up curl that bucket under and try and pull that track on and drive it back on the sprocket. Attempt number one. All right, well, that actually worked. We're back on, popped it right back on. So now I'm not gonna get too carried away with big wide swings here. We gotta go through this real muddy narrow patch. And uh, I'm just gonna go a couple feet at a time and go nice and slow so we don't have to deal with that problem again. All right guys, well less than ideal conditions obviously, but we got it back. The uh, mask there kept it clean and the plug worked. That was a real bugger getting it all the way back here, but we did it. So now I'm going to take this fitting off, take it up to uh, take it up to a hydraulic shop and see if I can get something that matches those threads and some sort of extension on here, you know, like a like a, a, a plumber's nipple, essentially. Something for hydraulics so I can add an extra inch here and make up for the short hose. So let's see if I can go find something like that and then we'll put her back together.
we got our excavator back to the landing. It was a, a long process, but we made it. So once I get that thing fixed, we'll have that up and going. But we got our load of logs. Gonna head up to the sawmill now and get them turned into posts for a customer. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check in uh, in the future for updates on the excavator and what's going on. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.